Hey everyone, I have a question for you. Can you tell the difference between these three performances? Listen. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Here's the second one. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. And here's number three. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. So here's the difference. The first time I sang the song, the second time I spoke the song, and the third time I whispered the song. Did you know that you can use your voice in different ways? Three of them are to sing, to speak, and to whisper. Let's explore. So, the first way to use your voice is singing. When you sing, your voice not only has words, but it also has different pitches. A pitch is a different musical note. Listen. La 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 la. Each one of those were different musical notes. When you pair the notes with the words, you get a singing voice. The next way to use your voice is to speak. The pitches don't matter so much when you speak, but the words are the most important. Listen. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. I wasn't doing different musical pitches, but I was saying the words of the song. The last way to use your voice is to whisper. When you whisper, you're saying the words, but you're not using your voice. You're using the air to make the sound. Listen. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. I wasn't using my voice. I was whispering and using the air coming through my mouth to make the sound. That's how you sing, speak, and whisper. Now that we've explored how to use our voice, let's play a game. The name of this game is Guess the Voice. You have to tell me if I'm using a singing voice, a speaking voice, or a whispering voice. Let's begin. Number one, rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Which one do you think it was? The correct answer is speaking voice. Here's number two. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Which one do you think that was? It was a whispering voice. Here's number three. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. That was my singing voice. How many did you get right? So, speaking of singing voices, let's learn a song. The name of the song we're going to learn today is the Grand Old Duke of York. Let's begin. First, let's stretch. Stretch up. And reach down for your feet. Roll up. And roll your shoulders back.
Now roll your shoulders forward. Upper body this way. And the other way. Now back to the front. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, raising your arms to the side. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out. Now, let's warm up our voices. Repeat after me and trace the pattern of high sounds and low sounds that we sing using your finger. Now, let's sing Solfege. Repeat after me. Today, we're going to learn a song called The Grand Old Duke of York. I'll sing it for you first so you know what it sounds like. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Listen again a little bit faster. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. All right, let's learn the words. Repeat after me. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill. And he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. All right, let's go and put the first line and the second line together, make it a little bit longer. Repeat after me. I'll point to you when it's your turn. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again.
And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. All right, now I'll do one half of the song, then it's your turn. Then I'll do the second half of the song, and it'll be your turn again. Here we go. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. All right, time for the whole song. Here we go. I'll go first, then it's your turn. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. One, two, go. All right, now let's learn the notes. Repeat after me. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill. And he marched them down a Let's try that a little faster. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill. And he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. All right, this time I'll do two parts and then it's your turn. And then two parts and it's your turn again. Here we go. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. I'll do one half, then your turn, then I'll do the second half, and your turn again. Here we go, a little bit faster this time. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down. song time. I'll go first, you go second. Listen, here we go. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. And one, two, go.
good singing. Now, take a look at the lyric video and sing along with the words on the screen. So we've learned about our singing voice, our speaking voice, and our whispering voice. This is our final game of Sing, Speak, Whisper. I'll give you five different questions. See how many of them you can get right. You'll listen first, and then I'll tell you the answers at the end. Let's get started. Here's number one. London Bridge is falling down. Falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. My fair lady. Which voice was that? Here's number two. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Which voice was that? Here's number three. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Which voice was that? Here's number four. Here's number five. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Which voice was that? Here are the answers. Number one was a speaking voice. Number two was also a speaking voice. Number three was a singing voice. Number four was a whispering voice. And number five was a singing voice. How many did you get right? 